Okay, so I had all these big high hopes to show you a modded Reaper, but this is going to be a public service announcement to not mod the Busby Ultratech Reaper. Here's why. This is the dart tooth. Without it, the dart is not shoved back into this barrel. You need this spring right here to spring this back up while holding on that rod. This rod is held in by one tenth of a centimeter. The other side of the shell has the real thing that holds it in. This has a small part of the spring that hooks onto here. You then have to hold a spring-loaded spring down while sliding it down here to hold into that plastic piece there. That's right. You have to hold something in with one-tenth of a centimeter, slide this down it while holding onto this spring, while holding a spring-loaded part of it, while hooking it on there and hoping it all doesn't fall apart. Once you get that, you have to hope that this doesn't spring forward and knock it out. After you do that, you have to put the other shell on perfectly, sliding it onto here without knocking it out of place, or you start all over again. Do not mod the Reaper. This came off because I had to saw through the super glued on front piece, which knocked this loose. If you manage to take that off without knocking that loose, you have a chance to do this without any real problems. So the rest of this is fairly simple. This is ridiculous. Don't mess with it. It shoots fine. I took out the air restrictor. I was looking for springs and forgot. It's hard to find a spring to replace it. It's just not worth it. It works fine. Stick to modding the Sentinel. Have <laughs> a good night because I have OCD trying to get this done and it has not worked. If I get it together by some miracle, I'll show it to you in a day or two. Good night.